Everybody hit the floor. Nobody moves. Nobody gets hurt. What is up, YouTube? It's your soon-to-be boy, Six Shooter, certified countryfied with the chicken biscuits to prove it. I'm bringing you some drop zone on the map interchange, and I'm 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 gonna do something different today. I'm gonna bring y'all some tips and tricks. Yeah, I know that's not what you expect from your boy, Six Shooter. Hell, it's not even what I expect from myself. But I feel like I feel the need to throw this out there. And if y'all didn't already know about it, give you the heads up. Now, for some reason, and I don't know what that reason is, a lot of people are sleeping on the perk overkill. That perk to me is just awesome. I mean, yeah, true, you know, everybody runs Assassin as their second perk, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not even going to lie, all my perk, all my classes were set up with, you know, Assassin as, um, as a second perk. But as I told y'all, I'm doing this commentary, this YouTube thing, to improve my game. And part of that being is stop using cheap tactics, you know? And I don't care what you say, Assassin is a cheap tactic, especially with the way that people use it. Um, so I've been, you know, experimenting with different perks. I've threw me some uh, quick draws on a couple of them. Um, Blast Shield. Blast Shield's another good one. Um, it's, it's another good way to get it is in a drop zone as well, but you can't do both of them at the same time. Um, so... I started experimenting with it, and you know, it's cool, you know, you can throw your second one on, your second primary in there automatically, all you can do is put one proficiency on it, but once you pro it, you can put the proficiency on it, and you can put attachments on it, and that's where it's like, that's where to me this perk becomes, or it has the potential to become overpowered, not saying that it is, but I would rather run with a second primary than with a dual FMG akimbos. Oh, they're so powerful. They make my nipples hard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding with y'all. But everybody knows now by now about the dual FMG 9s and that the fact that they're a cheap tactic. So, to get this pro to get this perk pro, what I suggest you do is set up a drop zone class. That seemed to be the best class for me to to get these kills. And on that on that uh, drop zone class, I want you to set up recon. And I'll talk about the recon later. Set up recon for your first perk, and for your second perk, pick overkill. Doesn't matter what weapon you pick for your first primary. On your second primary, I suggest you picking something that you feel comfortable with, with something that you can get e easy kills with, or not easy kills, but kill people easily with for you. So for me, it was the PP90. For you, it could be something else. It, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as you can use that weapon. And then as soon as the as soon as the game starts, as soon as you spawn after a death, switch right over to that weapon and go at it. I think I was averaging about 20 kills a match. So you're looking at 100 kills that you need to get it perked. 20 kills a match. You're looking at about six, seven, six to seven you know, matches to get this perk. And right now I'm just going to stop this and let you know. Or you know, go ahead and tell you. Don't use this. Don't, don't, don't be the guy to use this tactic. Well, you just join join a random game, and you don't play the objective. As you can see, when I spawned in, the game had already started. Um, we were losing. Within 30 seconds, we were winning, and we didn't drop the win. I mean, we didn't drop the win. We didn't drop the lead throughout the whole match. So I knew we were going to win, so I didn't have to necessarily play the objective. I jump into the drop zone every now and then, pick up, make sure them points are still coming. But I make sure that before I start using this tactic that we are not – we're not, you know, losing it because you don't, you don't want to lose. People on your team don't want to lose because you were that guy sitting back in the back just farming kills. So yes, please play the objective when you do this. But on top of that, if you see that y'all are winning, there's no, you know, you're not going to lose. Then by all means, do this. But back to it. So as soon as you spawn in, switch out for that weapon and go and get them kills. And you know, like I said, I just. This perk has the potential to be awesome. I don't know why people are, you know, sleeping on it, so to speak. I mean, you know, look at this. This is a fail. I'm trying to get the Betty challenge, so I throw a Betty out. I shoot at him. He sees me. I, I miss him. I think, okay, my my uh, my teammate just killed him, but boom, I turn around the corner just in time to get him. That almost bit me in the ass, but it didn't. But that was a dumb move, so learn, learn from that. I know I will. But on to this overkill. As I was saying, set it up that way. As soon as you spawn in, switch it out. Boom, go in, get your kills. It won't take that long to get them. And it's once you get it perked, I mean, pro, it's an awesome, awesome, very awesome perk. 
I know I've done said that a couple of times, but you just don't understand that it, it, it it's a game changing perk, you know. But the second one I was telling y'all about would be uh, recon, and all you need to do is set up, you know, your class with uh, either stun or flash, either frag or simtex. I would probably say f uh, frags because you can cook them and get them to the drop zone quick, you know, when you want to get them there. Um, and then, you know, so you got basically each life, you got three three grenades you can throw out to tag people with. So, you know, and you can get about, if you, if you use your frags properly, you can get about three tags a life. So you're looking at about nine tags a life. Call it six to nine tags a life to um, get that perk. Also for that one, I think you also need uh, 120, you know, tags, so to speak. So it's, it, you can get it, you know, pro- fairly quickly fairly easy just as you can with overkill it just it just seems like people just aren't using them for some reason i don't i don't know maybe i'm just not run, you know running into those games where people are using them but those those two perks are awesome i mean like the, the recon not only do those people show up on your map they show up on all of your team's maps so even even though you're not killing them so to speak you're getting assist after assist after assist. And then you can combine that with Hardline Pro, which, you know, everybody knows now that a kill, you know, the assist counts as your own, two assists counts as one kill. And you can really rack up some uh, point streaks, you know, the, the way that Modern Warfare 3 is set up with their point kill streaks. But I'm, I'm jabbering on. Let me get back to the recon. The, the pro version lets it, uh, allows you to tag enemies with bullets now also. So if you see a guy running, you know, running past a small passage, boom, spray him with some bullets. It doesn't matter if you kill him because now he's on your whole team's mini-map. He's going to get, they're going to, they're going to get that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So those are the two perks that I wanted to talk about today. Um, recon and overkill. And, I mean, both of them together, you know, I don't know if they work too well together. I know going into this, after I, I probed my uh, overkill, I set up a class with, uh, I love submachine guns in this game for some reason. They seem to be the better weapon. I know most people like assault rifles. Black Ops, I was more of an assault rifle. But I try to switch it up in this one. I'm, actually, I'm trying to get into all, all of them now because, uh, once again, I'm trying to improve my gameplay. But I got my, my class set up with uh, the P the P90 is my set first primary. My second primary is the MK14. So it basically owns at all ranges. There's not too many maps out there where you can't just control completely dominate the map because you have you have your short short to mid range with the P90 or you know submachine gun, and then you have your medium to you know long range with the uh, MK14. So it's a you find the weapons that you feel comfortable with mid-range, long-range, and put them together, and you can control it, completely dominate it, on top of having, you know, Recon Pro. Recon Pro. You can really do some work. But it's your boy Six Shooter. Remember, you can't have collard greens without first killing a pig. Get at your boy. Hope you like the tips. If you did, if they helped you, click the like button, click the subscribe button, get this thing popping.